everyone, and Merry Christmas. I'm Darrow Breen, and this is the annual Mock the Week Christmas special. Tonight is the now traditional chance for you to enjoy a collection of our favourite clips, outtakes, and brand new festive material from some of the finest television faces currently not helping the police with their inquiries. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back with another one off special over the new year. What's going on here? Cameron's saying to the Welsh people, he's going, look, look at the kind of guests I bring to countries that don't ask for independence. <laughs> 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 he's probably saying, in this relationship, he's me and I'm Nick Clegg. <laughs> Is Cameron going? So then the black guy says to the waiter, He's standing right there, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a diplomatic incident, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, what the actual answer well, it is. It is a NATO summit which was held in Newport. Did they mean to meet in New York but just have an autocorrect nightmare? <laughs> you know what I did like about the whole thing, though? What did you, what did you like about the whole some thing? Some of the entertainment that they had. What do they have as entertainment? Well, one of the things they were entertained by, Prince Charles's official harp player. <laughs> huh? That's badass. Because you think about it, like I'm not, I'm not a big royalist, but when you've got somebody like Obama rolling into town, there's not many other world leaders can sort of outdo him, you know. You've got but to go royal on his ass, you but know. This guy. Nobody else has got Air Force One and Marine One or anything like that, but you can still go, have you got your own official harpist? <laughs> That's pretty Don't sweet. Uh, you, can, you, can you have your own dream sequences? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, he's the, but he's the Prince of Wales. Why doesn't he just have whale music? Surely that's more his thing. <laughs> Is he not that kind of Wales? No, he's not the Prince of all <laughs> Wales. It's not like... It's not like Beastmaster. Uh, I call forth the whale! <laughs> With them and my official harvest. <laughs> 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 I don't believe I have misunderstood that for 40 years. <laughs> Even this photo, I like to think he's just said, to, what, Congress won't let you have your own harpist? Baby, <laughs> yeah, exactly. play him something. <laughs> <laughs> We had a harp in our Only house. Only the Prince of Wales could afford. We had a harp in our house. How Irish remember. are you? I'm unbelievably <laughs> Irish. I am the most Irish person of all. Come dance with me in Ireland. Uh, I have a, with a harp in the house, yeah. Were the poor children of your town allowed to come and play the harp? <laughs> no, they, but they, would, their own. they would dance as I played. They would dance as I played. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an image of you now as the Pied Piper of Dublin. Very much. Leading, <laughs> leading the kids away. They're green culottes. I mean, there will come a court case when they will replay this as evidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. I come from a very different world. Uh... <laughs> Did he have anything? Did he have clothes that you could put on when he was playing the harp? No, he played it either. naked. <laughs> you, you straddle it. You straddle the harp naked, a leg on either side, right? But you, you hold your genitals close into the rampart so that so they're not there. <laughs> no, and then you. And if you're drunk, if you're drunk, you just bang it with your lad. <laughs> Bing, bing, bong. Oh, bing, bing, bong. I challenge you all. None of you who can play the harp with your penis. But I can. None of you. Is there a man here who can play the harp with penis? <laughs> Did you just call it your lad? Your lad. That's what you call it. No, it's not. It is, isn't it? We're in lad. harp playing country. That's what you call it, right? <laughs> uh, Obama was looking surprised. <laughs> Uh, uh, aggressively sexually. Come on! <laughs> what? what on it? What on it? <laughs> so you're playing a harp. So you're playing a harp with an organ. Psychologically, this is doing me the world of good. Because my dad was a bishop, so I used to spend quite a lot of my childhood dressing up as a bishop, and I thought I was weird. <laughs> You still got a harp? I don't have a harp. There was a harp in the house when I grew up, the, 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 and it's still there. But I, yeah. So now you have to go into like music shops to do it and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I might buy it. I might buy it. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Someday, sir. <laughs> sir. Walking in and playing stairway to heaven with your lad. <laughs> sir, could you please at least wear a condom? <laughs> Other people have been trying that hard. <laughs> you don't want to get harpies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the needle under that. Well, well, that's the NATO summit coverage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this show, this show, man, it makes some points. It makes some points satirically. To, to what, what's wrong, Britain? Too much truth for you? <laughs> How is the government enlisting the help of children this week? Children are, um, are encouraging their parents not to go to A&E. Yes. Effectively, what they're asking kids to do is self-diagnose, isn't it? Yes. And convince And convince their parents, isn't it? No, 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 Mummy. My, the symptoms, are, they're fine. I can certainly wait until Monday to see the G. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to A&E recently because I thought there was something wrong with me and then I realised... But you were with me when I had really bad... I had really bad stomach cramps. But it felt like I'd been stabbed. Like, I felt like I was, I was, I was in terrible, terrible pain. And I took myself to the hospital and I really felt awful and I spoke to the man and I went to the wait room and then it just went away. <laughs> <laughs> was it just wind? <laughs> there was some farting involved. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I ended up in casualty about three years ago because I got bitten in the face by a dog on Christmas Day. I don't know if you can see it, but I don't, that part of my top lip's missing. And I was in a panic and I, and I got to that point where, that you got to where I was like, right, it's going to be OK. It's not that bad. The lip really heals. And right, just as I sorted myself out, I said to the nurse, I'm sorry you're wasting your time. This isn't, gonna, this isn't much, just stare at she, went, it, she said in my face, while I was still in shock, it's not nothing, you've been scarred in the face for life. I <laughs> 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 love the fact that you were like, oh, I, I, I know, just, you say, just like you, Ed, I didn't feel it was a major thing. You've been bitten in the face by a dog. <laughs> tried, he needed a good fart. I tried to... <laughs> Down. Yeah, because it was it was that Christmas Day atmosphere and the nurses had a few sherries and everything. So you Stars got bitten, just bitten by a dog I went on to, Christmas Day. I went to kiss I someone. I bet that dog was just for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, went to, I went to say Merry Christmas to this girl that was holding a lap dog and it bit my face. I went, it's okay, and I had like a full <laughs> a full predator lip going. <laughs> <laughs> right there. I, uh, I I would sorry, while we're exchanging words, I fell on some ice once when I was a teenager and hit my head, and uh, I went with a, I went with a with a bang on the head like whatever. But I unfortunately arrived. As a, I later found out at the same time as somebody who'd had a much more serious bang on the head. <laughs> and they had us in bed, and they sent me off to get an x ray. There's nothing wrong with me. But the, the guy with the proper bang on the head was in the room next to me, which I didn't realise because there was a cause that, yeah, it's, it, we need somebody down from neurology. We need them down now. We need you to get, prepare a thing. And I'm thinking, oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we need somebody down and get such and such. I want 50 cc's of this stash. Uh, and all the stuff is going on. Like, whatever, we're going to clear that. We'll, free it, we'll move all that. And I went, hello, and said, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with you. I, well, well, again, no, A&E stories. stories. I've got another one. Go on, then. I once went to A&E. It was trapped nerve in my back, right? Could not move. <laughs> I trapped a nerve in my back because the night before, I'd been doing that pub sumo, you know, where you wear a fat suit. <laughs> and I'd fallen over onto my front and tried to get up, and I trapped nerve in my back. And the next morning, I could not move. Absolute terrible pain. And did have to justify the reason, go to hospital. We had to call an ambulance, but the guy who called an ambulance said, yeah, he's hurt his back, sumo wrestling. <laughs> Five guys showed <laughs> 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 this skinny rasher lying on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I just heaved a sigh of relief. <laughs> but it was like written on top of all the forms. I'm like, every now and again, somebody would just pop their head through to see the sumo wrestling. <laughs> <come in. laughs> Our next round is called Newsreel. We pin a recent piece of footage featuring people in the news and ask you to suggest what might be being said. This week's clip features the Prince of Wales. Oh, Merry Christmas. Uh, no need for introductions here. You are, of course, Anton Dubeck. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> now, uh, you must be looking after the car park. So, uh... <laughs> Uh, mine's a blue Bentley. If you uh, treat her well and give her a good waxing, there's a fiver in it for you, as I said to Camilla. Good Lord! Gabby Logan. Yes, I thought you were magnificent to the World Cup. I supported Spain, by the way, because uh, if we were Spanish, uh, my mother would already have abdicated. So, I'm kept on talking to you, by the way, because the bloke next to you looks absolutely miserable. So, 
and he's wearing a shirt which has been given him by Dr. Evil. So, uh, it's, it's Jeremy Irons, isn't it? Yes. I loved you in Play Away. Have you, uh, have you worked at all since the 70s? No, not really. Probably as much as you. Yes, you cheeky bastard. What you know? <laughs> and uh, Tess Daly, lovely. Yes. Tell me, how did you convince uh, Brucey to kind of hand over to a younger... A younger generation. Did that take, did that, you know, the last time we met, you were going out with that uh, fellow, what's his name? Tall, gormless, looks a bit thick. Um, <laughs> presents family fortunes. Can't remember his name is. What is it? Cook, 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 something. Yes. Well, anyway, if you, uh, if you can't remember it, I'm, uh, I'm not going to, am I? Sorry. Yes. Yes. Uh, Vernon Kay, that's the fellow, yes. That's the two. Anyway, Philip, lovely to meet you. I just, could you give me Holly Willoughby's mobile number? <laughs> oh, I've got a Christmas present for her that I want to deliver personally, so uh, if you could, that would be. Uh... Good God, it's candy. I haven't seen you for a while. <laughs> Are you, uh, you doing anything uh, this Christmas? Panto or anything? Yeah. Do you mind actually calling me Sir Ben? Because getting a knighthood from your mother was one of the finest moments of my life. <laughs> was it? Yeah. <laughs> I am the Prince of Wales, and I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, look, Joan Collins, you must be what? 100 and... 130? 150 by now? Anyway, time for a selfie, a little photograph. I've never had a selfie, actually. Even if I want one in the morning, I've got a man to do it for me. So... Uh... Okay. What new toy is expected to be a big hit this Christmas? Is it a harp? No. <laughs> should be. Should be. No. I, I think it will. Honestly, I think it will be. be. Very popular. If you're publicising it naked with your penis... <laughs> not, it's, a, it's a soft toy that kind of speaks the internet. Speaks the internet. <laughs> it sings the body electric. Uh, <laughs> you talk to it and it kind of Googles and replies to you. So mm. you'll say, you know, how do you play the harp? <laughs> <laughs> and it'll go, you're too young to know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you've got one. <laughs> oh, well, already the eyes have drawn me in. <laughs> So, I'm not sure if she's winking at me or if she's got <laughs> some sort of twitch. Oh, no. <laughs> this is Kayla. Kayla, the talking, you know, search engine doll. I'm sure there's a bit more catchy name for it than that, yeah. Kayla, is Dara making you uncomfortable? Whenever I see popcorn, I think of Friday nights with my dad. You can stop her like that, though. Uh, yeah, she's got a really sad voice. She has a sad voice. It, it, that was quite poignant. That yeah. one, actually, normally I think it's quite upbeat about itself, but, God, Kayla, Sorry, you speak volumes this... of a dark interior life that we don't wish to know anything about. Do you know my fa favourite thing is the camera just zoomed in on her as if it was going to get an emotional shot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you value for money? I get some pocket money from my mum for doing my chores. I try to save some of it when I can, but I do like my Oh, God, you do bang on a bit, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of, it's a, of a simple factual question, see so if she'll do that. What is the capital of France? I'm not sure I know. <laughs> <laughs> you have a dumb useless, You know that? Useless! Why do I send you to that expensive school <laughs> if this would you come back with? <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> Nothing! Or the, our neighbours' children, have you seen them? Oh, they're smart! But you, Kayla! <laughs> no heart for you! Right. <laughs> Kayla, it was very nice to meet you. Thanks very much. I try. <laughs> <laughs> Why does she fall for it? it? Hey, Don't yeah. fall for it. <laughs> no, she's a bit cook -cook she she giggles like that with all the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ask, her, ask her what are her interests. <laughs> what are your hobbies? Let me see if I can remember. That one was just a little too tough for me. Let me try another. <laughs> it's not going to sell very well in Ireland, is it? No. I'm guessing. Yeah, that's that, right. Do you have a problem with my accent? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can see that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. She's the only one who's ever dared say yes. this. Eight of the news, what's going on here? Is the, is the goldfish saying, I asked to see a sturgeon? 
<laughs> Is the vet saying, uh, before I get the mirror, Mrs Johnson, I'm afraid your cosmetic surgery hasn't gone as planned. <laughs> he's, probably gone, he's probably gone scalpel, forceps, wasabi. <laughs> Are they trying to work out what's wrong with the fish and somebody just needs to tell them, put it in water? <laughs> <laughs> the actual thing is that this goldfish had a brain tumour of some sort. And that, that, or a tumour somewhere. You're absolutely right. It and is he was a goldfish on. called George was undergoing brain surgery, uh, which he survived. He had a brain tumour. Uh, and there he is. That's actually the tumour that was removed it's from the goldfish. It's a goujon. It's not a goujon. How is it small? Uh, <laughs> Genuinely, I, I had a goldfish that uh, was 28 when it died. Wow, oh, really? 28? That's the same age as me. He was, yeah. yeah. What school did he go to? <laughs> <laughs> Ginger lad, yeah? yeah. <laughs> he, had a, he actually had a stroke in the end. And did he? Yeah. And uh, my father-in-law, who was a GP, came round and said, I, I think your goldfish has had a stroke. Uh, how do you know? Because he was swimming around in circles. He was just sort of... He was spiralling oh. up and down like that. And we had to put him down. Oh. With oh. this, uh Hammer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you just put him down the loo like and normal like people? Because he was 28. He was like... He was actually my longest... At that point, Girlfriend. he was my longest... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether he's male or female. <laughs> and you, he died on Christmas Day. He died he? on Christmas right, Day. Yeah. Yeah. So for the the, uh, Christmas, yeah. Possibly turn that incredibly grim story around with the heartwarming <laughs> Christmas wish at the end. That'd be lovely. <laughs> but frankly, we are just depressed as shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the highlight? We need a positive spin on it. What's the no, highlight of the fish? I thought he was. I thought What's he, the first time he, he died obituary? a couple of times when he was sixteen. <laughs> one of he got drunk. <laughs> Come on, with a bird. <laughs> When he was 16, one of his eyes fell out. <laughs> oh, God. We're trying to keep it light here, yeah. here. Yeah. Well, so was he after his eye fell out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why he kept swimming in circles all the time. Yeah, he was kind of like... Yeah. So oh, did, it go, did you did good. you pop it back in or was it? No, good? I couldn't do that. I'm not. I can't do that. That'd be amazing if you'd fashioned a tiny glass eye for your goldfish, <laughs> or a monocle, yeah. a monocle <laughs> for your goldfish. <laughs> When you swam around as many tanks as I have, you lose a few eyes. <laughs> it was nice. And the interesting thing is, when a goldfish's eye falls out, as far as I remember, oh, the geez. bit behind the eye is gold. <laughs> it's all gold. It went gold again. It's amazing. It's not funny, but amazing. <laughs> it's not you... even true, I don't think. No, I don't think it's... Because now we just tell people, oh, you want to find gold? You want to find gold? Yeah. Look behind the eye of a goldfish. <laughs> That's where the gold is made. <laughs> he was a really nice goldfish. I had, a, I had, I used to chat to him and everything. Ah, oh, this is nice. What was his name? I, did, I, I thought he was going to die. I never gave him a name. Oh God! <laughs> Twenty-eight <laughs> years without any name, with one eye, had a stroke. Surely, golden eye. <laughs> 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 yeah. Now we play a round called Mock Eye the News. <laughs> This game involves Sarah and Gary, so if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This round is a stand-up challenge. I long... No, 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 fucking hell. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. What were you applauding? Uh, I love the middle of the intro. Uh, <laughs> Would you call that rather than a harp player? Would you say that was a harpist? No, it isn't. There's a difference. There's a harpist if it's a classical harp and a harper if it's a traditional harp. <laughs> Which one plays it with the cock, please, Darren? <laughs> <laughs> That's classical. <laughs> Cla <laughs> classic harp. <laughs> he was the most considerate lover she had ever had. He even held her Bacardi breather as she... <laughs> Fuck it, come on. I'm an alcoholic and asthmatic, she quipped as she reached for her Bacardi breather. <laughs> How did Scottish First Minister Alex Salmond respond to the referendum result? He went, fuck you, would you... Oh, <laughs> Do you want a proper answer? Yes, I could, yeah. How did it? <laughs> well, he, he, he accepted it very graciously, and then, but inside, he was going... Yeah. <laughs> For sale, one harp. Really, really used. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why are we doing this then? Why are we doing this? Well, we get paid every week to turn to this. <laughs> All of you are being paid. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'm about to give points to you, so don't be eating fucking chocolates while I'm doing it. <laughs> Comedian seeks new harp for no strings attached sex. <laughs> OK, quick answer. Listen, in other news, what strange new material has been developed this week? Is it the blackest material ever, which is a bit Stop like... it when you're eating chocolate. <laughs> yeah. I just like the term gay mafia. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful not to cross the gay mafia if you don't want to end up with a horse's cock in your arse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Rick. What? Uh, what new fragrances might we be buying our loved ones this Christmas? For Christmas? For Christmas, Cele yes. Celebrity ones, they no. usually be? No, no. Well, actually, the celebrity one is really getting ridiculous. I mean, they usually... Yeah, the Dara Brain fragrance. No. There's, what would be the smell of Dara Brain? Yeah, yes. Old rope. <laughs> <laughs> Musky masculine smell is what I meant. not what the phrase means. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it, someone said about you, Dara, the other day, and they meant it as a real compliment that like you joke surf, like you jump on other people's things. So maybe that would be your fragrance. Like joke, joke surf. surf. <laughs> joke surf. Joke <laughs> surf. <laughs> me. Yeah, just like I'm kind of, <laughs> working right really away. hard and me just skipping from joke to joke <laughs> on top of their jokes. Ah, oh, like I've just done now. I'm the winner. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. I I, I've smelt you, obviously. Yes, obviously, yeah. Obviously, and sure. um, it's Lynx Africa. <laughs> That's already on sale as Lynx Africa. I can't just buy a load of Lynx Africa and stick Irish, my face on Irish it. Africa. <laughs> Irish. You can't Lynx Irish. Lynx Irish. <laughs> Lynx Irish. <laughs> Lynx, Lynx. Okay, I think the name might not be the issue here. It's the fact <laughs> that the people from the Lynx Corporation okay. would go, this is just Lynx Africa. <laughs> it's just selling our Lynx Africa <laughs> with his picture on the front. <laughs> Because it's got it legal. Is there anything That's we can do right. about this? You don't this? have to worry about them. They're too busy running away from girls in bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> so you're safe. Don't open it in the office. Oh, Jesus, he opened it in the office. <laughs> <laughs> no! Slammed up against the door. Ah, like a zombie <laughs> army. That was some good joke surfing. <laughs> Thank joke you very much. <laughs> Your name is perfectly designed for perfume, isn't it? Because you could just call it Dara Oda Breen. <laughs> <laughs> I could do the voiceover. <laughs> yes, of course you do the voiceover. Dara, Odebrine. <laughs> you do it with me? Could you do it with me? Do. No. So, could that be, uh, that be the uh, ultimate thing? My name's Dara. Are you getting bullied? Yeah, a little bit. A yeah, little bit. <laughs> It's horrible smells anyway, isn't it? Is it not very unpleasant smells that they've been launched they're or something? Yeah. No, they're, 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 launching, they're launching a series of perfumes. I, I'll, I'll put up two on the side and see. You, they? they? They, this company, I'm not giving them the that. The shadowy corporation. <laughs> True. <laughs> of our lives. Oh, yeah. smells. Doctor, I'm, I'm giving you, no. I, what have I given you there? Uh, uh, Tara, I am holding fiery curry. Yes, they've brought a series of more work. kind of um, intriguing smells. Fiery curry and what's the one we gave you there? Dirt. 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 Yeah. That's so... <laughs> Fiery curry and dirt, that's a typical night out with Ed. They, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, what were I giving see? you? I'll give you, give you Did voice. anyone order pizza? <laughs> really? Get in it. Oh, it's horrible. It's really... <laughs> I'm using this as a way to move in on Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> you see Josh on a dance floor. <laughs> 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 yeah. a television show where we're doing observations about something only we can smell. Yes. <laughs> it's it's magical, isn't it? <laughs> but, I, but actually, if you, if you press... Come here, yeah, come really close. Come really close. Really close to the telly. I just press your glass. Press your, can you smell it? Can you smell it? Yeah. No, you can't! Ha 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 ha! you! <laughs> the next topic is... Unlikely things to hear at Christmas. <laughs> I've burned the turkey and I'm shagging your brother. <laughs> I'm joking, the turkey's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Come and have a look at my Yule log. That is definitely going to need two flushes. <laughs> <laughs> so, if the turkey is sitting in Granny's seat, what did I put in the oven? <laughs> And where did I shove that stuff in? <laughs> Dad! 
Dad, you don't need to get me a present. They've cut death taxes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Paul, remember that couple we put up in the manger who gave birth to the Messiah? They've destroyed us on TripAdvisor. <laughs> No, Daddy, Santa Claus is definitely giving me that gun I wanted for Christmas, cos when I sat on his lap, I could feel it in his pocket. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! <laughs> and Santa was particularly nervous as he approached the chimney of the Pistorius residence. <laughs> I don't know what happened. The puppy was alive when I wrapped it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got you two things for Christmas, darling. A new life insurance policy and this. Don't open it until I'm a long way away. <laughs> well, A, that's your Christmas and birthday present, and B, yeah, I've just gaffer taped a birthday cake to a Christmas wreath. <laughs> Merry Birthmas! <laughs> <laughs> now, Granny, we don't call them that anymore. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, I'll have some eggnog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're having turkey with all the trimmings from your father's beard. <laughs> no, no I, 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 I'm not saying you haven't made an effort. I, I'm just saying I didn't realise pot noodle did a turkey flavour. <laughs> I knew they cared. They've sent me an e-card. <laughs> I understand you do fair trade presents. I'd like to swap my wife for an iPhone 6. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely lines from a romantic novel. <laughs> this is the last time that we can be together, he said. Aren't you going to say something? <laughs> yes, 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 cried Alex Salmond. <laughs> As Christian Grey tied her to the bed, using some cotton stretch slacks, and then started beating around the back with some Sicilian lemon cheesecake, she suddenly realised that he was heavily in to M&S. <laughs> It's for you, she said. My hair in a locket. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> I wanted that cough sweet. <laughs> Harold ran his hand up Connie's thigh. She giggled, made a note of it, and later on got £60,000 at a sexual harassment tribunal. <laughs> I want your breasts, your legs, your thighs. I'm on the phone to Nando's, love. What do you want? <laughs> he searched her eagerly with his tongue, its tip exploring every crevice, every orifice. God, he loved being a customs officer. Sarah's love made him feel like a young boy again, so he went off to find one. <laughs> she found him on Tinder and lost him on Grinder. <laughs> when she was in the shower, he went through her iPhone and found something disgusting. She came out as he was leaving. Come back! It wasn't me. They gave them free to everyone. I'd never download a U2 album. <laughs> They gazed into each other's eyes, and their thoughts were so in tune, they both thought the exact same thing. You'll do. <laughs> For the first time in her life, she reached a shuddering, juddering orgasm. She had no idea that such a thing could happen if you leant against the hot point during the spin cycle. <laughs> Ah. 
As Mr. Darcy kissed her neck, she flushed angrily. Get out! I'm having a shit! <laughs> So, yeah, you know, Merry Christmas.